Hey guys, welcome to the third tutorial walkthrough video for Class Afro Insane Mode. I'll be using a new team consists of Scorch and Gravitas, and I'll be using Cloning Vat to combo with Rocket Damage and Build Cost. So let's get ready. The bosses for this mission are the Gunkers, which have the ability to spit gunk to the towers, immensely slowing their fire rate. To counter this, you will need towers that are immune to status effects. And for that to be possible, we will need to upgrade a lot of rocket towers into marks. So you will notice that the infantry is on the left, I positioned the troops on the left side as well. That is because I'm expecting a gunker to fall there when I start to call the first wave. The goal in wave 1 is to eliminate the wave as soon as possible and summon the next wave so we can acquire a bonus energy. I prioritize building two marvs near the entrance area rather than building them next to my defense line. I will be building marvs there eventually. Sir, yes, sir. I also move my heroes near the entrance so they can start eliminating creeps. As soon as the first gunker falls from the sky, I have my heroes pile up on him so we can eliminate him early. Now that there's nothing to do in the left, I move my infantry into their final position with my heroes to eliminate the gunker. Now that there's more creeps crowding up near my defense line, I start moving my marv into its final position. Because marvs have wide movement range, I am able to move the one stationed from far away to near my defense line. But I don't have the resource or the time to build vanguards with EMP. So as a solution, I build a laser tower at the far end to catch them as soon as they start charging. There's only one choke point near my defense line. That means it will be heavily populated with a crowd of enemies. As a solution, I need to stall them longer, so I upgrade into vanguards. Now that I have enough energy, I can upgrade my vanguard to have EMP grenades to cancel the behemoth's shield. Each time your infantries are near death, you can upgrade them to grant them instant health replenishment. That way you can stall enemies even longer. Take note as well where my infantries are standing. It's an area where my lasers and my rockets can reach the enemy. Now that I've toughened my troops, I can start upgrading my rocket tower near my defense line. Take note that as I upgrade my tower, it cancels the status effect of Gump. As you can see from here, marbs are immune to status effects from the bomb rings as well. Furthermore, by placing the laser at the far end, it is safer from the bomb rings explosion.
Remember to keep upgrading your troops to stall the enemies even longer. If a crowd of enemies passes your defense line, you can upgrade to port me. Since I think my defense line is strong enough, I decided to play around a little bit and upgrade it to plasma cannon to have longer range and more damage on a single target. So I do believe we've got this in the bag. I will be posting a link for my other insane events in the description. This includes my previous Class F Rope insane event videos where I also got a perfect score and I used slightly different strategies. Feel free to leave a comment, like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from this and thank you very much. Signing out.